Why you didn't uh, stop to think and tell me whether I'm going to be a father or not? Tess was negative. We are all good to go. You're pregnant. Daniel's the father. Where's he gone? Uh, he's just gone to get me a juice. He'll be back soon. Okay, would you like Tracy to come and sit with you? No, thanks. Look, it's a shock, I know, and you'll need time to process. But if you have any questions at all, just feel free to ask, okay? Your favourite. Organic feed Joe and apple. That'll make it all better, eh? Thanks. Um, I'll go give radiology a hurry up. But can you just hold off on that until after the x-ray? Definitely news to TK. I mean, to call him gobsmacked doesn't even begin to cover it. Well, it's kind of hard to picture. She'll make some designer preggy gear store very happy. But with a living, breathing, pooing baby, trying to cope with one of those exploding nappies that newborns get, she will run a mile. Well, Brooke probably thinks that's what nannies are for. Ah, oh, it's just one heck of a way to make sure TK sticks around. <clears throat> Brooke, message for you. Uh, one of the PCC patients heard about the changes and wants to talk to you personally. OK, thanks. I hear congratulations are in order. You heard wrong, it was a false alarm. You told Callum before you knew for sure. Shush, Gerald. Yeah, I would have followed you, Meg, because it's none of your business. <laughs> I'm going to end up in the Guinness Book of Records by the end of the shift as the nurse who wore the most vomit in one day. Nasty. Would a copy help? What would help is getting off that damned medical ward before I end up in a psych ward. Oh, yes, but you have a big brick wall called James Scott to get over first. Better start looking for a ladder. Please tell me that your list is so dull that it would put me to sleep quicker than a shot in the arm. Actually, we're about to do a gastrotracheal fistula. I've never assisted with one of those before. I have. I'd know exactly what to do. I wouldn't even have to swat up. Except you won't be there. In fact, you should probably get back to work. Somebody's bound to be needing a bedpan. <laughs> Don't. This is torture. This is absolute sadistic torture. Oh, it won't be forever. Scotty knows you're a great vet nurse. He'll put you back there. You think? Sure. Might take a while. <laughs> <laughs> These sprains seem to run in your family. Your father had more or less the same thing. Well, he can give you a lesson on how to use these. Or I can just give you another piggyback. Hey, how are we doing? Uh, it's no biggie. The x-ray showed I sprained my tibio something. <laughs> your posterior tibiofibular ligament, and you're right, it's no biggie. You'll only need crutches for a few days. So, I guess I'm good to go then. So, there's nothing else you'd like to discuss? No, so thanks. <laughs> nothing slows her now. <sighs> I better go see that she doesn't break your leg before she leaves the building. <laughs> Cheers, girl. kind of tense this week, boss. I hope the honeymoon period isn't over already. If you're sure of things to do, you can always refill the pepper mills. Less chat, more work. Got it. Hey, I thought you were going to be at Tech all day. Uh, yeah, I was going to, but now I need to use the net. we got this new media studies assignment and I haven't got a clue what I'm going to write about. Can I help? It's not how we work, is it? You don't talk to me about your problems. Why should I tell you about mine? So if that's not how I want it to be. So come on, tell me what your assignment is. Fine. Um, we're supposed to choose a social issue like binge drinking or tagging and take the unconventional approach to the topic. No, please, not binge drinking. Doesn't matter how unconventional your approach, you're still not a good look for the wife of a bar owner. Would you prefer I discuss prostitution? Took the unconventional view that it's actually an okay way to make money. You can take whatever view you like because I'm not in the prostitution business. Uh, and that's just be forget it. Okay, the topic hardly matters anyway. It's the expository method that's going to make the difference. I'm sorry, the what? I'm just a guy who pours drinks around here, remember? Oh, and on that note. Hi. Bubbles, please. Sure. Who would ever choose to work on a medical ward? It's an endless round of obs, meds and messy beds. Give me the order and structure of a good operating theatre any day. Because you're such an orderly person. I have seen your bedroom. 
Okay, I might be a bit freeform at home, but I'm a good theatre nurse. How am I going to talk Scotty round? Trying would be a mistake. Well, I have to do something, or else he might forget about me and leave me in bedpan land forever. Do you think grovelling would work? Or begging? I'm not above begging. <laughs> Just uh, one more question before you take off. Exactly how do you manage to make that uniform look so hot? What can I say? It takes more than mauve polyester to hide the goddess sun. <laughs> You're telling me. Now's my chance while he's all loved up. No, Nicole, don't. Isn't it nice to see somebody happy in their work? I'll see you later, and you can pick up the flattery where you left off. What do you want, Nicole? It's just that you could make me happy in my work, too, by putting me back on the surgical roster. Please, haven't I done my penance? Is this your idea? No. It wasn't. She was just trying to tell me that I was wasting my time by asking, but I thought you might take pity on me. I'm going crazy on the medical ward. Really? Seriously. Insane. It's a shame you didn't listen to Maya, then. She seems to know me a lot better than you do. Meaning what? Meaning, stop pestering me. You just made things a lot worse for yourself. Oh! <laughs> what now? I don't see vomit, at least. Actually, I was just spewed on by Scotty for daring to ask for my old job back. You didn't. Oh, I could have told you that was a bad idea. He doesn't like to be prodded. No. Really? <laughs> now he's going to keep me stuck on medical for months now, picking up the slack every time Brooke thinks some germ's going to harm her unborn child. Whoa! Rewind. Brooke's pregnant. No, no, no. no. Actually, she jumped the gun. It turns out her oven is bun-free. You're kidding. Who tells their boss they're pregnant before they've even... Tea, taken... anyone? I'm making... Haven't you shut your mouth off enough for one day? Uh, hold on. Gerald was just setting us straight. No, you shouldn't so... be talking about Brooke at all. It's none of his business. It's no one's business. Well, she's the one that made it public when she used her condition to get out of doing some work. Well, that's out of line. She was busy. She didn't have time to take a test. She thought there was a genuine risk of contracting rubella. I'd find the time before I went blabbing to the CEO. I mean, wouldn't you, Tanya? I mean, how long does a test take anyway? Like 60 seconds? Oh, I think so, from memory. When Morgan... Shut up! I'm sorry. <clears throat> you disgust me, all of you. Well, I don't think we deserve that. Neither do I. What's his problem? I'm not sure, but um, something's up. I mean, that really wasn't like him. 